Hey, what's going on guys? It's been a little bit since we've taken a look at an 86 kit. So up next in the series of spider tanks is the Regen Leaf, which is a more kind of armored up, more heavily armed design here, it seems like. It's also a larger design than the Juggernauts, which we've taken a look at in the past. This is another great kit with a ton of great detail in it from the 86 series from Bandai. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, taking a look here at the box art for the Regin Life, one thing that you'll notice right away is that it does have a lot of detail going on in the box art there, so it does look very cool, this scene of action with the two different types. Once again, it's really cool to look and just up close at all the details packed into the illustration, all of the little weathering and lighting effects and everything, all that, even in the background. Plants and dirt and scenery and wreckage and everything there, it's very cool. On the side of the box, we got the same thing here, but you can really see how thick the box is, so it's definitely going to be a much more parts heavy kit than the previous releases were probably about like half or just a little bit more than half about the size of the box. Here on the bottom of the box there's a look at the Karina use and there's a look at the Anja use versions of this. It looks like we got the figures inside so you got just detailed images here of what the kit is going to look like. Over here about the weapons, the wire anchors there that it's got. And over here just kind of showing more about the articulation of these which does look very nice. On the other side of the box here is a look at some other kits that are available. The Shin use of this, the Raiden Theo use version of this, just kind of with like different smaller versions of that. And the Juggernauts, which we've taken a look at a couple of those kits, the general purpose use and the long range cannon type. So I've got reviews on both of those if you guys want to check those out. There is also, of course, the Figure Eyes standard Lena kit if you guys are interested in that. We got a little bit of explanation here about kind of the background introduction story there to 86. Oh. But with that, then we can go ahead and pop open the box and see what we got in here. Like I said, it's a pretty deep box. So There's going to be a lot of parts. Right here on the instruction manual, we've got the box right there at the top on the bottom. Some images there of the different characters. Some information for you guys about the region life, about the characters there in Japanese and in English. On the back side of the manual, again, just it's the same images that we saw on the outside of the box there. A little tip about doing some panel lining and weathering to it to just kind of bring out all the features, especially with this being a, having a lot of white armor on it. These kits do have a lot of detail, so definitely want to do some panel lining just to bring out all the details on there. There is our color guide. Color guide for the figures there as well. On the inside, we've got our parts list and all of the construction of the kit. We have got a couple pages here in color, but it's just basically finishing up the weapons and then how to build the included action base. So first off here is the foil sticker sheet, which is extensive. That is quite a lot of stickers on here. You hate to see that, but we'll see how they look on the kit. And in contrast to that, we have a very tiny little sticker sheet here with a couple of marking decals. So whichever version you end up choosing to build it as, you can stick the little logo on there. We also have our two little black wires for the wire anchors for these measure uh, 10 centimeters in length. Then we have our action base parts, which is always nice to be included. This is here in just plain clear. Runner A is in four colors. We got one little red part down there, one little clear part up here, some white over here on the side, and then our dark gray kind of interior parts. And again, the great thing about these is that they are really detailed kits. So like here, for example, is one of the interior parts, I think probably on like the bottom side of the kit or somewhere, where you can see there's just going to be a lot of detail that's going to be really nice to bring out once you do go ahead and paint the kits. Runners B1 and B2 are going to be some more of our interior parts. And runner C2 and C2 are going to be some more of our white armor pieces there, probably just mostly stuff for the legs. Runner D is some more parts here. We've got two of this D runner in that dark gray color. Runners G1 and G2 are some more pieces here in white. And you can see there's our seated pilot figures right there. Runners H1 and H2 here are some more parts in dark gray. And last but not least, runner I is some pieces here in red for the missile pods. All right guys, here is the kit all built up as the Corona use, and we'll take a look at the Anju use here in just a little bit with the missile pods, but I gotta say, really like this kit. There's a lot that I like, although there is one thing that I definitely did not like about this kit. It is very sticker heavy. If you do want to actually use all the stickers that are included, there's a lot of them, and they're all over the place, and I'll point them out in greater detail here in just a second, but I do really like the fact that the kit, of course, is very detailed. It's larger than the Juggernaut kits, which we've taken a look at in the past, and I think it just has a really cool design to it. I really like the armaments that it has and everything so it's an awesome kit with just the minor flaw of being very sticker heavy other than that it's really really cool so let's go ahead and take a closer look basically everything that you see red on here is going to be stickers so that's stickers stickers obviously this big white part at the top here that's a big uh, two big stickers right there otherwise this whole cannon section there is all dark gray red bits of sticker red bits down here sticker 
the like center part that is an actual red piece but then there's actually a sticker that kind of goes around that if you guys can see that there here on these front arms you got a little red sticker there a little red sticker there for the camera a sticker that wraps around the front of there these gray parts are it's actually one two three four gray stickers that all wrap around this section right there which normally is just white a little red sticker is here at the end of the cannon a red sticker that wraps around there and up inside of there you can see those big white stickers that wrap around that section kind of at the base of the legs right there as well for the Anju use here's a look at one of the missile pods and you have an optional piece here for whether you want to have that uh, doors open or doors closed with the actual missile sticking out there like that but this one as well that's the big red sticker inside of there red sticker stripes on there and another one on the underside of that at the back these are going to basically be plugged in in place of these smaller little bits right here which I guess are also kind of small little missile pods or auto cannon or something I'm sorry guys I've not watched the show but those parts there on the side you'll just swap those out so while it technically wouldn't be cannon I suppose you could actually have the large center cannon and then the missile pods all attached at the same time but anyway for the wire anchors that are plugged in right in front of that, you can remove this one. That's basically like the stored version, which is stored at like a little bit of an angle. And you just replace that with the wired version, which again, that red part at the end, that's stickers, two stickers on each side. I'm just gonna plug this wire into there where that was, stick that into there. And because this piece is pretty light, this wire should be able to hold that up pretty well. But I think a little bit larger gauge of wire probably would have been nice just to have a little bit better security of holding that up but as you can see it does an all right job holding that out for when you have it with the missile pods with the anju use you're actually going to replace this center part here with this part just slap that part down onto there and again that's just all red stickers and red lining sticker that wraps around that orange sticker here at the back but it does have a pretty cool look to it i have to say and then of course in our cockpit here, you can open that up. And there I actually have the Anju figure in there, uh, but here is the Kurena one, just so you guys can get a close look at that. They're pretty nicely detailed, and also the inside of the cockpit is really nicely detailed. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to see, but inside there, and it does look kind of a little bit funky with their arms just kind of outstretched like that, but there is a lot of nice detail up inside of there. And all around here, as you can see, just by these like little rivet marks and panel lines and on the underside here too, you have a lot of really nice details on this kit that will look really good once you go ahead and paint everything in. And for the most part, you don't really have too much in the way of seam lines, except on these parts, you have a seam line across the side of that piece that plugs in on the side there. On the long cannon, you don't have the seam going the entire length as it's kind of inside this detail, but at the ends, right here and right here, and a little bit at the end there, and there you do have a little bit of a seam line you're going to want to get rid of at the ends of that. Otherwise, the only real option part that you have is a clear piece for that little center eye up in there, which is that red plastic piece. You can make that clear if you want, which would be pretty cool if you wanted to actually put like an LED or something into this, then you could use the, that clear piece to have the light coming out of the front, which would be very nice. Other than that, our only real accessory is just the actual action base that we have included, which is very nice. As far as the articulation goes, these front arms can be rotated up, down, side to side. You've got kind of an elbow joint as it were there for them so you can point them in every which way and the same thing for the legs so you can move them left to right up and down at the base joint at the kind of knee joint as it were you have a kind of cool piston detail up inside there so that moves when you move the leg in and out like that here at the kind of foot that little piece can be moved and then this whole part here on the side can be moved out you have some nice detail up in there as well and inside here if you push down this little piece it extends this part out which would be your pile driver which can extend out very far so that can go all the way out to there which i guess could be used as a weapon like so or i suppose would probably also be used just when it's actually using its weapons it's uh, sticking that into the ground for support but anyway so there's a lot going on with this kit and it definitely feels like a lot more satisfying of a kit than the juggernaut the juggernaut kits were really nice and simple but really nicely detailed they didn't really do a whole lot this one has a little bit more kind of going on with these bits on the side of the legs and these front little arms here and everything. And I should mention too how you change the angle of this cannon is not at the base here but like this whole back section kind of lifts up away from the body and then you can tilt that whole section up or down like that and so there is kind of a stopper but you could get that up really high up. This mechanism inside here for raising and lowering this back part of the body 
is pretty cool, I have to say. All right, guys, with the kits like this, even though there is some nice articulation going on in there, you are a little bit limited. I mean, as far as, you know, making really super dynamic poses, I mean, there's only so much that you can do with basically just like a walking tank. But we'll demonstrate a few different poses here and obviously a couple different ways that you can outfit this, either as the Corinna use or the Anju use. And I'm interested, which one do you guys prefer? I'm actually having a really hard time deciding which version I prefer of this because I really like both. And having both of them on there at the same time, like having the missile pods and the massive cannon on there at the same time is pretty cool. I mean, but I, that might be almost a little bit too much. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which version do you prefer? What do you guys think about this new kit? Do you like this more than the Juggernaut or did you prefer the Juggernaut? I don't know. It's a really awesome kit though. If you guys have not tried any of the 86 kits, I would definitely recommend you guys to pick one up and give it a try. And of course, if you are interested, I will have the link to USA Gundam store down in the video description below where you can check out this kit and everything else from Bandai and all sorts of other cool mecha robots, plastic model kits and everything like that. But as always guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative about the kits. If you have any other questions, of course, let me know. Thank you all so much for liking the video, subscribing. It's also greatly appreciated. Until next time guys, hope you all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.